assuming Lauren maybe had to wear like earmuffs or earplugs <laughs> or something, uh, you know, yeah, to protect close. because you can tell that those cannons are really loud. I'm sure she was doing everything she could on the, you know, the camera uh, yeah. to turn that volume down just enough so that it didn't like overmodulate the sound, blow Burst. blow us out, yeah. uh, right. our eardrums out this morning. But when we're talking about the forecast. Earmuffs, I had them on when I ran yesterday, oh. and I was so thankful you that I did. You ran outside in the cold? Oh. And you didn't have to You're take them off? better than I am. Anytime I wear anything like, like you know, the skull cap, or, yeah. right. and well, I run, it, it has off. to come off. Well, it comes off. off the second half of the run, but my way home was right into the wind. Okay. Ooh. So then I was glad That's I had them. All right, so you yeah. wore yeah. earmuffs. You brought mm -hmm. up uh, earplugs. Anyone, this message mainly to coworkers, wear uh, nose plugs right now. Uh, web guys microwaving bacon. What? Upstairs. Again? Oh. Yeah. He loves bacon. Yesterday he well, we all do, gave but us all that pleasant so, aroma. I love smoke. the smell of it. Yeah. I know. I love the smell, bacon. but it was just too much. I didn't want to like come you. back. I didn't want to come back yeah, down here, you know, after uh, grabbing some coffee. Share, uh, so. I also just read that many, many people prefer to put bake their bacon in the oven, which yeah. I've never oh, tried yeah. before. It's good. It's good that's that's it takes skillet. longer. It does yeah. take longer. Skillet, yeah, microwave, I think they're a little bit quicker, but yeah, it, it can be good too. Right. Bacon awesome. Watch 2019. All, right. <laughs> all day you want to try it out. Okay. Yeah. Sounds good. Yeah, we've got weather watches out there. Warnings, I guess I should yeah. say, for some areas up in Eastern Oregon. Weather advisories for us here in the Valley. We talked about those with our earlier weather segments, but right now, temperatures, yeah, we're dealing with the cold. In fact, we're coldest here in Boise. Uh, we've had some clearing in some locations, otherwise a little bit of cloud cover, keeping other folks just a little bit warmer, but still cold all the way around. So 18 degrees in Boise, three mile per hour winds, so really no substantial winds this morning, which is great news because with these temperatures, wind chill would take us down to the single digits in a heartbeat. So one degree in Sun Valley, minus 11 in Stanley, seven degrees in the Long Valley. We've got 28 degrees in Ontario right now, so the lower valley, 24 in Baker City and 22 in Nampa. We talked about a weather warning day out there. We've got snow moving in tonight into Wednesday morning. Likely going to impact the commute as the bulk of the precipitation is supposed to move through late morning and be out of here by early afternoon with one to three inches possible in the valley locations as we head into uh, yeah, Thursday. So move, moisture moving in from the Pacific Northwest. In fact, the main storm system still in the Gulf of Alaska. If we time it out for you, notice that a lot of the shower activity will begin moving in tonight. This is closer to the five o'clock hour for the northern mountain areas and then sweep into the Treasure Valley. This is 630 tomorrow morning. Widespread showers could be possible as far as snowfall amounts as we head into the commute. Could have a couple of inches near the uh, Boise area. Lesser amounts over in Canyon County, but still expecting a little bit of snow out there and some snow in the lower parts of the valley. Emmett, uh, an inch and a half or so by the commute. Add on a little bit more as we head into Thursday with some wraparound moisture. So overall, here's a look at your extended forecast. Then as we move into uh, the rest of the week, our weather worn day in effect tomorrow with that accumulation of snow possible. We've got a flurry or so possible on Thursday before just partly cloudy conditions Friday. Chance of snow returning on Saturday and with a few showers on Sunday for the Treasure Valley. Mostly cloudy and 36 on Monday. So active weather continuing. Even the long range, long range forecast showing colder than average temperatures. Maybe even sticking around. So kind of hunker down and we got to get through February. So oh. March will bring in some warmer weather we hope. Right? Yes we do and we'll <laughs> be keeping you updated about tomorrow's commute too. Yes uh, for sure. Alright appreciate it. Thank you Dave. You 620